Elon Musk, a figure known for his audacious pursuits in technology and innovation, recently thrust himself into the political spotlight by making a series of controversial revelations. Musk, never one to shy away from controversy, has claimed to unearth instances of what he alleges to be dark corruption encircling none other than Joe Biden. These allegations have ignited a storm of debate and scrutiny, forcing the public to grapple with the potential of implications of such serious claims against a prominent political figure. At the heart of Musk's bombshell are allegations of deep-seated corruption involving Joe Biden. While Biden is a seasoned political figure with decades of experience, the weight of these claims cannot be understated. Musk's assertions have added a layer of complexity and intrigue to the ongoing political discourse, leaving many to ponder the validity of consequences of these allegations. The coming sections will delve deeper into the specifics of Musk's claims and the subsequent reactions and investigations that followed. The Confrontation – McCarthy vs. Republicans The political landscape was shaken when Representative Matt Gates boldly called for an investigation into Joe Biden. This call for inquiry marked a pivotal moment in the ongoing political saga as Gates' actions were met with a cascade of reactions from both sides of the aisle. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, a fellow Republican, found himself at the center of this storm. In response to Gates' call, McCarthy made a decisive move by ordering an impeachment inquiry, and this move signified McCarthy's growing confidence in the existence of substantial evidence that could potentially validate the allegations against Biden. In a swift and calculated countermove, former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi retaliated against McCarthy's decision. Pelosi claimed that McCarthy's initial hesitance to initiate an inquiry stemmed from a perceived lack of support necessary for its pass. This verbal sparring match exemplified the high-stakes nature of the situation. Pelosi's predictions of dire consequences further added to the tension, underscoring the significance of this clash within the Republican Party. Hunter Biden's Legal Troubles Hunter Biden, the son of Joe Biden, has found himself in the midst of legal turmoil following a series of indictments. These charges, stemming from federal fraud and firearm violations, have thrust Hunter into the legal spotlight. The gravity of these allegations is compounded by the fact that they involve statements made in revelation to the purchase of a firearm. Special counsel David Weiss's decision not to press tax violation charges at this juncture leaves the door open for potential legal ramifications. As Hunter Biden faces these legal challenges, the Republican stance on the matter has been steadfast. They contend that the impeachment inquiry is fundamentally linked to Hunter's financial dealings. This perspective has sparked intense investigation efforts, underscoring the gravity of the situation. The prolonged insistence by Republicans that there is something worth investigating speaks to the complexity and sensitivity of the matter. It suggests that every effort to unearth the truth has been met with formidable obstacles, further emphasizing the high-stakes nature of this investigation. Republicans' investigation into financial dealings The heart of the Republicans' investigation lies in their accusations against Joe Biden, asserting deliberate deception, self-enrichment, and misuse of state resources. These allegations paint a portrait of a politician who, according to the Republicans, exploited his position for personal gain. The seriousness of these charges cannot be overstated as they strike at the core of ethical conduct in public office. The Republicans' pursuit of the investigation reflects their commitment to holding those in power accountable for their actions and upholding the principles of transparency and integrity in governance. The release of bank data became a pivotal moment in the investigation into the financial dealings of the Biden family. This data provided a crucial window into the economic transactions that had previously been shrouded in secrecy. It served as a cornerstone for the Republicans' claims, enabling them to scrutinize the flow of funds and identifying potential irregularities. Additionally, the strategic use of keyword phrases like Biden crime family and Biden family corruption in online conservative discussions played a significant role in shaping public perception and driving the narrative surrounding the investigation. These phrases became rallying cries for those seeking answers and further fueled the fervor surrounding the case. Elon Musk's entry into the fray brought an unexpected twist to the investigation. By obtaining confidential Twitter files and subsequently sharing them with journalists, Musk unveiled a trove of information that had previously been shielded from the public eye. This move catapulted Musk into the center of the political storm, aligning him with the Republicans' allegations against Twitter. The release of this sensitive information shed light on concerning practices that the platform had engaged in prior to Musk's involvement. Musk's actions not only bolstered the Republicans' case, but also demonstrated his willingness to use his influence to expose what he believed to be significant issues within the social media giant. The Laptop from Hell – Hunter Biden's Alleged Emails the New York Post publication of an article in 2020 discussing alleged emails found on Hunter Biden's laptop sent shockwaves through the political landscape. The right-wing media seized on this revelation, dubbing it the laptop from hell. This development fueled accusations against Joe Biden, portraying him as a participant in potentially dubious dealings. 
The intensity of the right-wing media's response underscored the gravity of the allegations and highlighted the potential impact they could have on public perception. Central to the allegations surrounding Hunter Biden is the claim that Joe Biden used his position as vice president to assist Burisma, a Ukrainian natural gas company where Hunter held a position. The alleged emails were believed to contain evidence supporting this assertion. This accusation strikes at the heart of ethical considerations, suggesting that Joe Biden may have leveraged his political influence for personal gain. The implications of such a claim, if substantiated, could have far-reaching consequences for Biden and his political legacy. The revelations surrounding Hunter Biden's association with Burisma shed light on a potentially lucrative arrangement. The assertion that Burisma paid Hunter $50,000 per month raises questions about the nature of this financial arrangement. Critics argue that this substantial compensation was not based on Hunter's expertise in the Eastern European gas business, but rather on his proximity to his influential father. This aspect of the investigation delves into the ethical considerations surrounding familial ties and financial transactions, adding another layer of complexity to the ongoing scrutiny. Ideological Clash – Biden vs. Musk The ideological clash between Joe Biden and Elon Musk became apparent during a public address when Biden made a remark that seemingly mocked Musk's economic ideas. This comment, along the lines of good luck flying him to the moon, highlighted a fundamental disagreement between the two influential figures. It underscored a divide in the perspectives on economic policy and the role of private industry in advancing societal goals. This moment crystallized the shifting dynamics between Biden and Musk, signaling a departure from their previously aligned views on certain issues. Elon Musk's decision to throw his support behind the Republican Party presents a seismic shift in his political allegiance. This move surprised many given his prior affiliation with the Democratic Party, primarily rooted in his emphasis on environmental protection. Musk, known for his eccentric personality and disruptive motivations and innovations, cited valid reasons for this change. He contended that the current Biden administration was neglecting him, prompting a reevaluation of his political stance. Musk's realignment has not only raised eyebrows but also significantly impacted the political landscape, with one of the most influential figures in the tech industry now backing a different political ideology. The reasons behind Elon Musk's transformation in political allegiance are multifaceted. While Musk's initial alignment with the Democrats was primarily driven by his focus on environmental issues, his shifting stance can be attributed to perceived neglect from the Biden administration. Musk, a figure renowned for his contributions to technology and clean energy, found himself at odds with policies that he believed hindered innovation and growth. This perceived disconnect led him to reevaluate his political loyalties, ultimately aligning himself with the Republican Party. Musk's move serves as a stark reminder that the political affiliations are subject to change, especially when driven by a belief in the need for policies that foster progress and innovation. The Hypocrisy Saga – Democrats vs. Republicans In recent interviews, Hillary Clinton launched a scathing criticism at Republican senators for their perceived inaction against Donald Trump, despite being aware of allegations of misconduct. The pointed remark is laden with layers of irony considering Clinton's own history and political controversies. Her involvement in commissioning a fabricated Russian dossier created by paying FBI agents and marketing firm to implicate Trump serves as a stark reminder of the complex political landscape. Clinton's criticism highlights the deep-seated divisions and strategic posturing that often characterize political discourse. The revelation of Hillary Clinton's involvement in commissioning a fabricated Russian dossier sent shockwaves to the political sphere. This controversial move was aimed at discrediting then-President Trump, raising questions about the lengths to which individuals in high-stakes political battles are willing to go. The creation of this dossier, which later played a role in broader political narratives, showcased the nuanced and often contentious tactics employed by both parties in the pursuit of their own agendas. In a discussion about the controversial Afghanistan withdrawal, General Mark Milley acknowledged that certain decisions regarding the embassy and the Department of State could have been handled more smoothly. This candid admission sheds light on the complexities and challenges faced by military leaders in navigating sensitive geopolitical situations. Surprisingly, the interview did not delve into a critical question surrounding the staggering amount of military equipment left behind in Afghanistan. This omission underscores the intricate dance between transparency, strategic communication, and the scrutiny faced by military leaders in the aftermath of such monumental decisions. 